All religions are one. This reading comes from an authorship which was published in 1794 by Sir William Blake, who lived from 1757 to 1827. And it has the subtitle of The Voice of One Crying in the Wilderness. All religions are one. Part 1. The Argument As the true method of knowledge is experiment, the true faculty of knowing must be the faculty which experiences, the faculty I treat of. All religions are one. First principle. The first principle is that the poetic genius is the true man, and that the body, or the outward form of man, is derived from the poetic genius. Likewise, that the forms of all things are derived from their genius, which by the ancients was called an angel and a spirit or a demon. I would like to intercede at this point to say that the word demon comes from daemon, from the ancient Greek, which means spirit. Second principle. As all men are alike in outward form, so, and with the same infinite variety, all are alike in the poetic genius. We all possess it. I would like to intercede once again at this point to say that for Buddhist people, they would call this Buddha nature. The third principle is... No man can think, write, or speak from his heart, but he must intend truth. Thus, all sects of philosophy are from the poetic genius, adapted to the weakness of every individual. The fifth principle. As none by travelling over known lands can find out the unknown, so, from already acquired knowledge, man could not acquire more. Therefore, a universal poetic genius exists. I will intercede once more to say that this means that the Buddha nature exists within all beings. By this I mean the pure, truly awakened nature which is hidden from us in our current stage of existence. The fifth principle, the religions of all nations are derived from each nation's different reception of the poetic genius, which is everywhere called the spirit of prophecy. The sixth principle, the Jewish and Christian testaments are an original derivation from the poetic genius. This is necessary from the confined nature of bodily sensation. I would like to add to this for myself that the Jewish and Christian testaments as well as the Quran are all derived from an earlier work called the Epic of Gilgamesh which was probably also derived from earlier works which we know not of. The seventh principle as all men are alike though infinitely various so all religions and as all similars have one source, the true man is the source, he being the poetic genius. And that was the end of part one of Sir William Blake's All Religions Are One. Part two will be coming soon and will be called There Is No Natural Religion. Sir John Spencer, signing off.